の人の写真綺麗な人やな誰マイワイフ
Um, so yeah, Tricks of Burn. This is one of those, de those decks I actually didn't think I would be playing. Uh, but uh, here we are. Anyway, we're playing Triple Nibiru and Triple Draw and Lockbird. Draw is here because it's Trick Stars and we can do the Trick Star Draw Lock. So that's fine. Nibiru is to deal with combo. But it didn't come up too much during testing. Most of the times it's what it, it was a brick. Or the opponent was able to summon a negation on their fifth summon. So that's a that, that's a thing. Uh, we're playing of course the Trickstar engine with triple candina, triple licorice, one light stage, and triple reincarnation. This is uh, for, of course, the burn from Candina and Licorice, mostly Licorice, and for the opponent to just get through his deck as quickly as humanly possible. Uh, to get to our cards, we're playing Triple Pot of Extravagance, one terraforming so we can get to the light stage, and for some additional burn, we're playing Triple Dark Room of Nightmare, very, very early Yu Gi Oh cards, and I love it. Uh, we're playing Triple Infinite and Permanence because we really want some negation. There is some matchups that can be very problematic. We're playing Multiple Destruction. This card is very interesting and was pointed out to me by the Archfiend guy on Twitter. Shoutout to, to him. So, Multiple Destruction works like this. If both players have more than three cards in their hand, they put those cards at any order at the bottom of the deck and draw five cards. Then they get, and then, then they receive 300 points of damage for each card they have returned to the deck with this effect. So if we combo this with something like like present card, which which we discard the opponent's entire hand, they draw five. Then we use multiple destruction, they put 5 back, draw another 5, take 1500 points of damage, plus additional 10, 2000 from Licorice, plus additional 400 from Light Stage, plus additional from Dark Room of Nightmare. This gets very stupid very quick and I love it. Ghost and Imaginal Rivalry are here to just stun, because the deck is not the fastest in the universe, so we would like to make the opponent crawl, just as uh, we are crawling. This turban strategy is, again, here just to disturb and to reshuffle the cards, make some more burn with Licorice. So is Dark Bribe. It's an additional negation from things like Harpy's Feather Dust, uh, Lightning Storm, Regeki, etc. The extra deck isn't that important, but we're playing Triple Phoenix, Unicorn, Cerberus, Severamax, and Nexus Kotoka. It's not really important since, since all of those cards are just here for part of extravagance. Yeah, yeah but, but that will be it. This isn't some great theory behind this deck. It's. It's already known. The only. Really interesting card here is the multiple of destruction. Once again, thanks Archfiend Guy for pointing this out. It does burn by itself, it also shuffles back cards, makes the opponent draw 5, and also the player can draw 5. So for 900 points of damage, you get a plus 1. So it's very interesting. Anyway, if you like this video, then please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next one. Jokolo signing up. Peace!